Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan, I'm from Sweden, I speak English with a funny drunk Viking accent and today I will be drafting Gatecrash. Uh, when I draft Gatecrash I have this document, you will find a link to it in the show notes uh, of my card notes. Um, I also have MTG Goldfish uh, on my screen. Here it is. Uh, with current card prices, so I know what cards are draft for money. I put the limit at about somewhere between two and three dollars. So right now, uh, I would draft any duel. Uh, I would not draft blind obedience just for the monetary value. So and I'll be drafting a Swiss draft because I like to play magic. With that I mean that I want to play three games. Hmm. You see, I was about to play M13 just by instinct because I love M13 so much. But that's not what I promised you. Here we are. Um, I played seven uh, Gatecrash drafts so far. I've done two three O's, three two ones, and two one twos. Uh, the last one was a Boros draft going 1-2. I won with Simic and Demir. I've gone 1-2 with Boros and Demir. I've been told that I need to prioritize uh, creatures more in my Boros decks, so I will do that. I think maybe creatures are better picks in this format than in most other formats. That is, uh, that removal is not as premium in Gatecrash, but I haven't really... Uh, worked too much on that theory. I really really loved to play Simic, so I might actually be a bit biased to Simic right now. I pulled Gideon and Domri Raid and Obsedat, so let's pull something. There's another Gideon! Um, and he makes the money cut at 466, so I'm gonna pick him. Uh, Cinder Elemental, pretty strong card, Arrows of Justice, okay, uh, now I'm thinking, oh, Shamble Shark, Shamble Shark, that is pretty nice, uh, Devour Flesh is good, uh, yeah, these things are decent, but my, I'm gonna take my second Gideon, Uh, and I would love to play me some Orsov. Uh, but I am gonna follow the picks, uh, follow the signals. And I am ready to go into any guild. Uh, hopefully one where I can play Gideon. So Boros and Orsov is a lot higher now than they used. Ooh, Cloudfin Raptor, Legionnaire. Either eyes. Uh, a Cloudfin Raptor is great, but it's a step in the entirely wrong direction. Uh, Sky Knight would put me into. What's missing here? It's a rare, so we don't know anything. Is there an Orsov card? Not really a high pick. <sighs> Homing Lightning. Looks pretty strong. I'm not sure at all about this pick. Please let me know what you would have picked. Uh, so I'm gonna take the Legionnaire. There's another Legionnaire. Uh, Am I gonna end up in Boros again? There's a Balustrade Spy. Uh, Urbis Protector, I've been told, is super crap in this fast format. Uh, a lot of Legionnaires and a Gideon. But there is a, a big, big chance of Boros drying up here. 
And after the last disaster with Boros, do I really want to go into it? Of course I do. Uh, keep them coming. Okay, that's where they dried up. Right. Uh, Scrub Clown Charger is good. Leyland Phantom Madcap skills. Yes, that's a card. Aristocrat Psychic Strike. Cursed Confession Balustrade Spy. Madcap skills is more of a gruel card as I understand it. And I really need the small creatures here. Uh, but. What about Orsov? But there's not really a strong... I would need to see some strong extort cards to pick it. Uh, and Balustrade Spy is in the case of Orsov perhaps a stronger card than Death's Approach. I'm taking the Madcap skills. Damn it! Yeah, Illuminate Primordial. Limited Resources said it was the first pick, but uh, 7 mana is just way too much, right? Uh, so what is the pick here? Bane Ali Broker is going late because everybody hates Demir. And you see the white and the red creatures, they just dried up. Am I gonna pick the Illuminate Primordial here? And have like the slowest uh, deck ever? Uh, Nav Squad Commandos is like a very late Boros deck. I liked him at first. Smite. Smite, smite, smite. What's in this for me? I'm not sure about that pick. Let me know what you think. Treasury Trial. Armor Transport is definitely the the Boros pick here. Uh, Treasure Troll is... Omeritan. I think Treasure Troll is a bomb and that I will be forced to go Orso at some point here. And I'm already being slower. Do I pick the transport? No, I'm gonna go the slow route. Confessor, Biovisionary, Skullcrack, Sapphire Drake, Shattering Bloom, Millennial Gargoyle. I didn't like the Millennial Gargoyles last time. Sapphire Drake, super strong. Let's draft the four color control deck. No. What do you think of the Confessor? Is he the strongest card here? I might be insane, but I'm picking him. I want to try him out. Uh, there's another armor transport. Uh, this card is crap. I like totally lost, but I am in the totally wrong colors. So I would be totally lost playing it. Okay, bad pun. Uh, Scorchwalker last thought. Gruul Kirun. Pasture Profane. This deck is going wrong, so let's think here. Uh, I think Riot Gear is marginal playable if I can't get the deck to come together. Aerial Maneuvers. Or the Gargoyle. This is just... Maybe a perch for the sideboard? Um, picking up a Gilgate. So my, my Orso commitment is not uh, very big, but I have that open to me still. Uh, I'm not much of a Boros deck at this point. <clears throat> wow. The 
this guy just looks so powerful. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Scorch Walker Griff and Devour Flash. That's a pretty heavy commitment to black. Do I pick him? That would make me an Ors of deck with a splash for red. What's the alternative? It's Devour Flash. Also makes me an Ors of deck. Uh, it's a Syndicate Enforcer. Or Killing Lair. I don't know how strong Killing Lair is, but I'm gonna pick it here. Uh, Under City Plague sucks. Gateway sh Shade isn't very good. Okay, where are we at? This is the second pick. Uh, I don't want any more 4 drops. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick the gate here actually. <laughs> High Priest of Penance! Looks very good. Uh, Side Martial Glory, Devour Flesh. High Priest of Penance must be better than Devour Flesh. Uh, not sure. There's Bomber Corpse. <laughs> so am I an Ors of Deck or am I a Boros Deck? And I'm not too impressed with Bomber Corpse. I'm gonna go the three color route here. Uh, Ors of Charm. That's a Vendetta for me. Yeah. Miming Slime, Urbis Protector, Gruel Charm, Massive Raid, now Squads. I'm so expensive. Uh, massive Raid will be hard to cast if red is then my splash. I would love to pick another gate. Well, this is what happens when you try to go Boros. Uh, ah. They re Ooh! Jesus. Well, what deck am I? I can still be Boros Splash Black! And that's a, a late Halberdiers. And here's a skin brand goblin. Okay. I found the street Denison. He proved himself to be pretty bad. Ooh, Flax. This card is good. Uh, but if I am a Boros deck, <laughs> then I can use Massive Raid. So I could be Boros deck splashing, treasure trull and killing lair. White is like the only color I felt certain about, but I have to like, I don't have many many very many white cards. Although they are white gold cards. Uh, well, I need to pick up some gates. And uh, these cards are all crap. So let's take the swine so I don't get it thrown at me.
Okay, maybe the, the solution in this uh, drafting format, and what gave me this late Halberdiers is that you should always stay away from Boros at this point. I don't have any one costing cards. One costing cost cards. And I only have 11 creatures. Um, this dragon dude. Uh, it's a 6-5 Flying Trampler. <laughs> is that really too slow for this format? He doesn't do anything else. Is he worse than the Guild Mage? Or is he better than the Guild Mage? Let's check the other cards. Basilica Guards. Pretty good in Boros. But every also, but I am a Boros deck. Uh, Skyjack. Do I pick Guildmage over Tyrant? I'm not sure. But I hear a voice in my head saying you have to take the Guildmage. And I think he's light, slightly stronger than the Crazies. Right? Right? Tell me I'm right! Okay. Guardian of the Gateless, he's crap. From what I hear, the raw horror is great, but he's not for me. Uh, there's an executioner swing. Wow, there's like nothing in this pack for me. Guardian of the Gateless. Is the pick still Guardian of the Gateless? Executioner swing. It looks so bad. I think I'm taking the smite here, perhaps. But I need creatures. But I don't need five power creatures, do I? Oh, uh, I'm really unsure if that was the right pick. There's a pit fight. Um, okay, let's see if there's something better. Furious resistance, crap. Death's approach. That's pretty slow if I still think that I'm a Boros deck at heart. I should pick the pit fight. And who is pit fighting? It's like, just like the Nav Squad Commanders and the Treasury Trial. Or Gideon! Yeah, I'm gonna pick the pit fight. So, Dying Wish, another Confessor, more strategy suit, the Swine, Gruel, Guildgate. Uh, this is where I take. The Devour Flesh. Um, there's another pit fight. A tiger. Uh, Denison. I heard that Denison was pretty good, so I'm gonna pick him. And looking at this, I have a lot of playables now, so I might be able to cut a lot of stuff. I don't have anything to fuel the death approaches. So, but is there anything else that I can play here? Uh, Madcap skills, Void Walk, Shadow Alley Denison. Let's see if Madcap skills is as good. Stay safe. It'll probably be pretty awesome on an armored transport. 14 creatures. <sighs> Hating out the anemones. It is a pretty interesting mess here. 
Okay, it's time to see how much of a Boros deck we are. But we are base Boros. And... So this is our Boros base. 14 things. We need to play as many creatures as possible. So I get the 4 drops come in. The transports. This is an 11 creature deck with 5 more slots. Uh, and then we're splashing black for Treasure Trial, for Devour Flesh, for Ors of Charm, and for High Priest of Penance. And we have several choices for the last card, but it should really be a creature. Right? I don't know about the Scorch Walkers. Uh, Gateway Shame must be really bad in a deck with that doesn't have black as its base. Uh, is there even. What about Pit Fight? Who is gonna Pit Fight? Gideon, Nazgot Commands, Treasure Child. Everyone else is a two for one on myself. But what if you pit fight? Armor transport pit fight. How does that work? I'm googling it. So if, if I pit fight the creature that I'm blocking... Does that work? Let me know if that works. So if, if I, after blockers have been declared, I pit fight the armor transport and the creature blocking it. Is armor transport protected from damage by that creature? Is pit fight damage combat damage? That's my question. Uh, I need to fit one more card into the deck. It's probably not Gilson Ward. Uh, it's Killing Glare, of course. Yep, and that leaves these cards out because I have no f no engine for this approach. I'm not playing the Confessor. Uh, please scold me for drafting him. Uh, it's a 13 creature deck with two madcap skills. That's just not very good. Uh, aerial maneuver feels bad. It's the one combat trick. Oh, I have Martial Glory. Should I play the Confessor instead? For another creature. I want to try out the Confessor. I, I think uh, I'm pretty convinced that he's crap. But uh, I don't know. I just want to try him out. <laughs> so I'm going to do it once. Uh, so that means I can bring in Aerial Maneuver. Uh, how much black mana do I need for this? I have three... Four, five black cards. So I would like... Two swamps. That's four black mana sources. And then... Six and five. That's sixteen land, but I do have more white sources in the guild gates. So this will give me seven red sources, eight white, or oh, nine white actually, and four black. Makes massive raid pretty hard to cast. Um, and I'm low on creatures. But there is not much else. 
I am not proud of this deck, and I think I have already made several mistakes. So let me know where should I have gone on a different path. But I'm going to play this deck, and I hope I can win.